Amendment starts more than five years ago, on 9 December 2015, when Zuma abruptly fired the country's finance minister, Nkhlankhla Nene, and replaced him with the unknown ANC MP, Des Van Royen. Nene's Let me be explained. The markets plunging. With what an estimated 500 billion rand in value all this wahala, wiped off the Johannesburg the Stock Exchange. For South Africa now. Under pressure from the markets and the ANC, Zuma replaces Van Royen with Pravin Gordon. Nene was fired after he opposed a nuclear power deal with Russia, punted by Zuma and other cabinet members. The nuclear transaction would have cost South Africa a trillion rand a deal Nene said would bankrupt the state. Three months later, in March 2016, former Deputy Minister of Finance, Msibisi Jonas, drops a bombshell when he reveals that he was offered 600 million rand by the Gupta family to become Finance Minister and push through the nuclear deal. Mm. The Guptas further offered Jonas 600,000 rand in cash at their Saxonwald house, which he refused. Mm. Imagine that. Too. These revelations led to three Imagine complaints lodged with the Office of Public Protector Tuli Madoncela. One by Father Esma Yebe on behalf of the Dominican Order, a group of Catholic priests. A second by former DA leader Musi Maimani. And a third by an anonymous member of the public. In November 2016, Madoncela releases her final report titled State of Capture, in which she makes provisional findings against Zuma for allowing the Guptas to influence his appointment of ministers. Mm. Maron Sela orders Zuma to establish a judicial commission of inquiry into state capture and said Chief Justice Mkhweng Mkhweng should appoint a judge to head the commission. Mm. Zuma agrees to the establishment of the commission. I have decided to appoint a commission of inquiry. The court ordered that, among other things, the remedial action of the public protector is binding, and that the president is directed to no appoint one will praise him. a commission Loves of freedom. There's no, there's no one way, no like freedom. A judge but this is why that country is still struggling, Mr. suffering. Mahueng appoints his deputy, Justice Raymond Zondo, to head up the commission. Just carry all that money. The commission Only starts you. its hearings in August 2018. Money that can... And more than 40 witnesses implicate oh. Zuma in their evidence before Zondo. Imagine this that. includes evidence by Nene, Jonas, former Basasa executive Angelo Grisi, and former government spokesperson Temba Maseko. Hmm. Mr. Gupta directed me to a bar area and said that they were serious about offering me 600 million rand Imagine. and that it, he would, it would be deposited into an account of my choice hmm. and that they could open an account for me, I could stash it in Dubai. He said that to show they were serious, I could, I can give you 600,000 rands now and ask again, I could, do you have a bag or can I give you something to put it in? Zuma finally agrees to give evidence from 15 to 17 July 2019. His opening statement is a long monologue in which he continues to advance a conspiracy theory that, drink lots that he of is water. the victim of a grand uh, plot against him yes. by apartheid they and caught foreign your lies. intelligence services. They caught your lies. He accuses former ANC ministers okay, of head. being apartheid spies. Zuma claims that the ultimate goal of African the leaders, is to when kill things him. don't go their way, they, call, an they, 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 they will make an issue out of it. Tantrums. It is meant to enhance yeah. this narrative against yes. Zuma. Yes. I have survived mm. attempts to kill me. Mm. People looking to poison me mm. or being instructed by their handlers to do so. Mm. He won't cry. On the second day of his testimony, Zuma has difficulty answering questions from the Commission's leader of evidence, advocate Paul Pretorius, and repeatedly declines to answer questions or says he cannot remember. No, I don't remember. Do you have any comment on what they said? 
Well, it's difficult to have a comment because I don't know why uh, even that statement was made. I don't know what caused them to make such a statement or whatever. Zuma complains about Pretorius's questions and his advocate informs the commission that Zuma will no longer answer any questions by the commission. After an adjournment, Zuma withdraws from the commission. We've come to tell you, Chair, that because of this and the reservations we've raised and our experience in this room, that Mr. my client has instructed me that he will take no further part in these proceedings. He respected you, he still does, he respects this commission, but the com commission does not seem to know its ground rules. And for that reason, we came here to tell this you that we want to explore the option 24. of going to our courts. South African News Channel. To challenge what we think is your Cut decision, but you've told us it's not. News 24. In any event, Explaining the reasons why Zuma is that going to prison. Witness, like any witness, Jacob Zuma must be treated fairly. And at this point, I'm not certain that I'll be doing my ethical duties if I proceeded in these proceedings. I think, Chair, I'm, I'm imploring you. I think there's something wrong, not with you, not with uh, any pe particular person. I, I'm, I'm pleading with you, sir, to really, really check whether your process has not become a political process where the left hand does not know what the right hand is doing.